Let's take a look at the pressure distribution in the flow domain. I'll go here and request contours and I'll say pressure contours and OK. Location is symmetry 1, so that is the flow domain. The variable is pressure and the rest I leave as defaults and click apply. I'll turn off the velocity vectors and I will zoom out using the middle mouse wheel and if I select translate I can kind of translate it. To see more of the variation to you know to see more details of the variation I can increase the number of contours and let me increase that to 21. Okay that brings out a little bit more of the variation. What do we notice here? If we look at the distribution about the x-axis, we see that it's symmetric about the x-axis. This means that the pressure force on the top surface will cancel the pressure force on the bottom surface and so there cannot be any net force in the y direction, that is upwards, and so there can be no lift because that is a lift force. What about the pressure distribution, um, whether it's symmetric, about the y-axis? We see that it is not because you have higher pressure on the front and lower pressure at the back. This means that when I integrate the pressure over the surface, I will get a net pressure force in the x-direction. That is a drag force and it's pushing the cylinder back. And this contribution to the drag force that is due to the pressure is called the form drag and it is caused because you get a low pressure region behind the body due to the separation. And that's typical of bluff bodies. The other contribution, so that's a form drag, the other contribution to the drag in this case is due to the friction or the viscous shear at the wall and that acts in the tangential direction and we will see the relative contribution of the pressure and the viscous shear to the drag a little later on.